there's a lot of lessons I think in this film, but the main one would probably be how much kindness really affects creatures. That no matter what, just being kind and loving to someone can impact them for the rest of their life. I heard you lost your family too. You really are beautiful. That's what I'll call you, Black Beauty. Congratulations on the movie. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And Thank you. my first question for you too is, uh, what word do you think defines the essence of the movie Black Beauty? Ooh. Um, hope, elegance, and strength. I was going to go with hope as well. I think that's that's what I... You stole it. Um, that's what... Um, <laughs> That's what I felt, and yeah, me and my parents watched it together, and 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 all thought that it was like a really hopeful, sweet film. And uh, what was the first thing in the screenplay that made you guys fall in love with the story? Um, well, when I read the script, I'm a huge, huge fan of Black Beauty, and so when I first read it, I was really excited and really nervous. And Ashley is such a beautiful writer, and so just getting swept up in the story and the modern retelling of it, it was just all everything that I wanted it to be and yeah it was just it was just everything um I think I think I really I really loved the way that uh George and Joe's relationship was written um I think you know often I read scripts where like the the part I'm playing or going out for or whatever is like quite just like a a boy you know um and I think there was more going on between them and it felt it felt more equal than lots of the um the scripts that I read. So that that was really, really appealing to me. And the movie is very relatable and it can be very relatable to all sorts of audiences. Uh, can you please tell me how much relatable the movie is to your own personal story? Um, well, for me, I think Joe is the most like me character that I've ever played. And so it was, it was a really cool thing to be able to tap into a more personal aspect of myself and how to blend that into a character. It was an, it was a new experience and it was a really cool thing of Joe kind of just discovering herself and her circumstances and what's happening and how to, how to be again. That was really interesting. Yeah. Um, I think, I mean, I didn't come from the same like sort of wealth that George's family <laughs> come from. Um, and I have a really good relationship with my mom. Uh, so slightly different but um i think like the sort of person that george is trying to be you know a kind and empathetic person is definitely this you know this the same sort of thing that i'm i'm striving for so it was nice to explore that that part of myself and how was it shooting with a mustang because they are wild animals right they're so beautiful but they are very wild how was it it was really fun. I, I, I really, I love animals. And so it's really fun to be able to work with them, especially with the horses. And yeah, the, they're, they're really, really cool. Um, Phil Mequis and Cody Ross and Harris, who was the Liberty trainer. These horses are incredibly trained and just absolutely spoiled and loved. And it was, it was really fun working with them and being on a set and having a new experience working with an animal that closely. Yeah. They're, they're so, um, they're so beautiful and you know they can really they can really tell how how you feel as well there's like so quickly you build up a bond with your horse and I know I know Mackenzie felt that way about all the different beauties but I certainly I, I was mainly working with uh Fury who was playing Ginger and by the end I was so sad when I had to say goodbye to Fury you really yeah really quickly you can develop a like quite a deep emotional attachment which was really nice and the book Black Beauty is a classic book. It's been uh, it's been on for ages, and the narrative is so powerful, and also uh, has such a perfect timing. And for you two, what can this new version of the movie bring to the new audiences? Um, I think I think I think what it does really well, and Mackenzie speaks much better about this than I do, is it it keeps the sort of the heart of the the classic story, um, which Mackenzie told me, I didn't realise was written with the express intention of making more people aware of mistreatment of horses back in the 19th century. And I think Ashley, while being a really talented screenwriter and writing like a really watchable film, is also raising awareness of the treatment of wild mustangs at the moment. So I think, I think she's really honouring the original in that sense. Yeah, I mean, the same thing. It's, 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 
one of those stories that is just classic and timeless and then being able to update it and create it in a modern setting, tackling modern day issues and also, you know, just keeping the heart and the story and the feeling and the spirit of the original book. I think she did that really, really beautifully. That's great. Uh, and my last question is, what lesson do you think the audience can take from Black Beauty? The lesson that people can take? There's a lot of lessons, I think, in this film, but the main one would probably be how much kindness really affects creatures. That no matter what, just being kind and loving to someone can impact them for the rest of their life. It's beautiful. Mm. <laughs> what about you, Kaylin? for us to wrap. <laughs> I mean, I agree. I agree with Mackenzie. I think like having empathy and treating people and animals with respect and and also like I think both uh, Mackenzie's character and Black Beauty, they really have to be strong. And I think, you know, in, in a tough year for everyone, um, remembering what's important to you and being kind to the people you love and, you know, staying strong when things are, are difficult, there is hope. If I fought for every horse I'd ever loved, I'd have a hundred of them. I don't want a hundred horses. I just want one.